Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's session where uh, I mean the tutorial where I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to enable LVM technology while installing your Linux operating system, especially Ubuntu. So as you may already know, when you install uh, uh, Rocky Linux, which is a Red Hat based operating system, it will come it comes by default with the LVM installation ready for you. But with uh, Ubuntu, it's another story because it doesn't uh, give you that opportunity. So what you have to do is uh, choose or pick uh, the pick the, the uh, that options that uh, enables you to do that. So here I have an Ubuntu machine, all right? And on my side, uh, since I already know how to do it, I, uh, I have installed. I installed this Ubuntu machine using LVM, right? So here, if I do, if I uh, open my terminal, let me start from scratch. So here is the interface that you usually have. So if I start uh, opening, opening up the terminal, I go here, go here and type terminal, right? And if I don't want this to be like that all the time, I can just come here, do a right click and then uh, add it to favorite so that terminal has been added to favorite. Mm -hmm. So next time if I close here, and I can just click here and then it will come. I don't have to search again. Okay, that was uh, just uh, a tips. Now, uh, the purpose here is to look at how to install this uh, Ubuntu operating system with, um, with LVM uh, technology, all right? So what I will do, I will use one of the command that we already uh, talked about, that was gf minus th. And that's true here, if you are not experienced, you are not going to look at the difference with the normal installation and the, um, the, the installation based on LVM. So here I have this, after typing the command, I have file system here and the type of file system, size, use, available, use percentage, amount, the place where it is mount. So when I look at the file system, here I have TPMFS, uh, TMPFS, I mean. So here is just for the temporary file system. And here I have the mapper and then VG Ubuntu dash root. So when I look at this path already, dev mapper, Okay, usually dev mapper is um, is the path where you will have your LVM installation. I'm pretty sure that if you check right now your Ubuntu system, you won't be able to see that. So, and I, right after that, I have this VG that was added to Ubuntu and then dash root, okay? So this VG here means that it's a volume group, okay? Volume group name volume group Ubuntu and the logical volume is root. I'm gonna demonstrate that in a couple of minutes. So here, nothing changed, so here is normal, okay? And most of the time you have to enable the, the LVM installation because it makes it easier for you to uh, handle storage provisioning and management. For example, here, you see this is slash, this is the most important path, okay? This is the most important path on your system. And it is similar to the C drive on Windows. So when the C drive is already full, you will see that it will turn red most of the time. Here, you will see that with the percentage here, okay? And when it reaches something like uh, 90, 95, it's already critical, okay? Here I'm still at 5.58%. Um, so that means it's good. So while you're installing your applications, okay, your application will come and be installed in this path. Okay. There will be 
they will use this path to be installed there. And while you're installing, they, uh, you see what is, what is the size, what is, which, uh, what has been, what has been used. Okay. And also what is available. You can see here. So while you install, what is used will increase and this size will decrease to be available with what will remain here. Okay. So that's what I want to show you in, in a few minutes. Now, another command that can help me to identify that this is based on LVM. Okay. And uh, notice that here is slash mounted on slash. Okay, so we are going to look that in the next uh, command that I'm going to type. I will type the command ls block. Okay, so when I type ls block, ls block means list the block of the of the hard drive that I have. So my hard drive has this on a Ubuntu machine. You will see those loop, 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 loop. Um, to be honest, I don't know the meaning of that. I never search on it. So no, no expect for me to tell you what they are. So here now I have the disk, okay? I can identify this is the disk because it says this. So this means the physical disk, but represented in a logical way. And then that disk, it's, it's the size of 15 gig. Okay, now that this has been partitioned. It has been partitioned with three partitions, as you can see. We have SDA1, SDA2, and SDA3. And right up here, you can see SDA2, dev SDA2, which has the slash boot EA5. So that means it is used, this SDA2 is used to boot your your Linux operating system. So it's also really critical. And you can see here, the reason why we're saying partition, right? And this is the size for the boot. The boot doesn't need to have a lot of space, okay? And no, uh, I mean, here it is right here, okay? And here's that boot, EFI again, you see mount point here. And here was where all the things were mounted, as you can see here. Okay. I think this is too small. Let me uh, do this way. Okay. Nice. Now I think uh, this one is better. So here you can see that this SDA tree now, okay, you cannot see it here, but it's been represented by this guy right here so this sda tree now okay uh it's not mounted anywhere why because it's a partition yeah that's really partition but it should be mounted so where it is mounted uh, you, you can see the size here okay so this is this 15 minus what we already have here that we gave this okay and then we have so this SDA here, it's also partitioned, but with LVM and LVM stands for logical volume management, logical volume uh, manager, something like that, okay? And you can see that I have two logical volume manager, okay? I have one for the swap, you see, VG Ubuntu swap, underscore one and it is not mounted somewhere it's, it's mounted on on the swap you see like that so it's not a real path where you can mount it and here i have that vg ubuntu dash root again you remember this here All right so it's the same here and then you see the size 13.5 and that's why you can see here that that size was 14 so it has it has taken like this. Now here is says what type of type of partition is LVM. Okay, and it is mounted on slash again. You see that. So now if 
I was taking the example where you are installing application and those application are going to in, uh, use some spaces. They're going to produce some uh, logs on your system and all those stuff. So this partition here is going to increase in terms of size. In this training, we are doing partition. We are, we are using this with 14 gig, but in the real world company, we see two terabytes and more than that, okay? So now that we know why we need this, oh, I think I didn't say why we need um, the LVM. So now the reason why I was saying that we need the LVM is that if this reaches 90 to 95, it's really critical and you need now to adjust the size, okay? Now to adjust the size, what you can do if you have a standard partition, you can just install a new disk and do more and complicated uh, operations and configurations so that those applications we know, hey, uh, now we have to move. So, I, I mean, you will have to move this, this partition to the, uh, this uh, path here to the new partition, okay? And that's really, believe me, it's really hard to do that. So, Using the LVM is really simple, okay? So at that point, at that point where I say you will have to move this guy, you will need to have two disks on your system. And while you move this guy, make sure that there are no dependencies. When I say dependency, it means there are not uh, other path that will require that path to be there, to be at the same point. So you will, have not, you will now have two disks one way you have, for example, your regular user and doing stuff that they used to do, or then the one way uh, that we have your partition to install your application and the root user where it resides, because this is where the root user resides as well. Okay, so another way to see if your machine, the, I mean, the operating system that you install has uh, LVM, there are a couple other commands that you can type. You can type LVM, I think it's dash dash version. Uh, specify option after I can. Okay, uh, I think that's really. Mm. Okay, the, let me type dash dash help. Okay, so, okay, uh, I used the wrong way, so it was. Sometimes when you have too much information you are, in your head, it's not good. So LVM version. So if you type like that and you have this guy that comes out and say, hey, I'm present. So you see here is that dev map controller. So if you are, there, this message is because you didn't type it with the root uh, sudo uh, command, sudo LVM uh, version. All right, now you can see I don't have that uh, early message again. So if you type like that and you have this return at you, it means that you have enabled LVM while you are installing your system. But I was saying another way is to type um, LV display, for example, we will see these commands. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you need to be root because it's only the root user has the ability to do that. And you can see here, you remember this guy that we saw with the LS block, right? And you can see they say LV, so logical volume path, logical volume name, that's for the swap partition. And I'm pretty sure that you are asking, where do we see that swap partition? I wish I will, uh, I will show you that in a, in a moment. So yes, the, Here's the thing, and here is for the, the logical volume. So you can see here, logical volume path, see? Logical volume path, and here's the name of that logical volume, okay? That's why you saw the combination of slash dev slash uh, map, uh, dev map, slash dev slash map, vg ubuntu dash root, yeah. So that's the, the volume group here and that's the the logical 
I mean, the volume group and the logical volume here. Yeah, you can see that volume group name is this. Don't worry, this is dedicated for module A, but you requested a video, that's why I'm, I'm showing. The, for the swap partition, you just have to type free dash M because the swap is part of the, is part of the, uh, the is a part of a disk that we cut and we, we do a virtual memory with it for application so that they can think like there is a, there is a bunch of size on the system. So this is, this is it for the uh, Ubuntu one. Now let's go on the, on this guy, on the Red Hat base operating system one, which is Rocky Linux. And Rocky Linux, you can type the same commands if you, if you, I mean, yeah, not if you. And I don't know if you notice here, I have this size, which is nice, right? So I wanna have the same size. So what I can do is I can come up here, Am I able to do that? I don't know if they're gonna allow me to do that. Yep. And I take this guy like this because I wanna be able to see this right side. And uh, I will take this configuration of 1280, 960. 1280, 960 here. Okay. And I will apply that. And once I apply, I keep the change, the changes because I think it looks great for me. And now I can, I can simply do like this and it looks great, right? I have something that is big now. So now having that, I can click here, okay? Uh, come and use the terminal and now, uh, we were talking about earlier, right? Uh, let me increase the font size here. If you remember the shortcut, it was Control Shift Plus, right? Yep, we did that. Control Shift Plus uh, as shortcut. Okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is to do DF minus GH. Okay. So here you can see. The same thing, right? You see that dev mapper. I think I don't have anything to show you again. You already know, right? This is the volume group name here. And here is the logical volume name. And that's the size. So I took pretty much the same thing. Uh, Where's this guy coming from in my video? My video recording. So you can see that I have the, pretty much the same thing, right? because I took the same size, like 15 gig of, uh, of uh, hard disk. So you can see here that I have the same definition, okay? I have the same definition. So if I type LSBLK, in here you see that I don't have those loop, right? <laughs> That's what I told you, I don't know about them. So I have, something very simple here is because that's because it's what I am interested. So here I uh, was lying, I took 16 gig here. Uh, I got my... um, sorry about the noises. So here is the SDA one that you see, right? And that SD one is being used here, as you can see, for the boot. Okay, so that's what you see here. And the SD two, so this this is just partitioned in two, right? SD one and SD two. So SD two has two partition. Okay, it has it has two type of partition, which which are based on LVM as well. Okay, so by default, when you install a Red Hat based operating system like uh, Ubuntu, um, I mean, Red Hat itself, uh, Oracle Linux, um, Oracle Linux, Alma Linux, uh, Rocky Linux, CentOS, Fedora, they will provide you with this LVM. Okay, 
that on Ubuntu, you will have to do it on your own. So after this, I'm gonna show you how to install that on your Ubuntu machine with LVN. So you can see here that we have this, right? With LVN and the swap as well, okay? Okay, so now that you know that, I can also, for me, I enable my user to have sudo privileges and use, and also this is one uh, another difference. On Ubuntu machine, you don't have to configure sudo privilege for the default user that you create while you were installing the operating system. But on Rocky, on Rocky Linux and Rara based operating system, you have to enable the user on your own. You have to manage that on your own too. You have to elevate the user privilege on your own. So here you can see that I have to type sudo, but in your case, I'm pretty sure you will have to type uh, su and then login. So here I enable my user to type sudo. So uh, I'm gonna type lv display, sudo lvn version, right? That's the first thing. And I it's have, six o'clock. I have the same message, mean, meaning I have it enabled. Okay, I can also type LV display if you want, or VG display. That's for the volume group display. Oh, I think I miss. I uh, I can't type here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so you see that's the volume group. Okay. And then and all the stuff that we want. The same thing with uh, LV to display. You can see that here, right? You can see that for for You can see that for this here, I have slash dev slash this. That's for the that's for the swap partition and that's for the uh, the this for the LVM, the root partition, right? That's for the root partition. So that's the system doing that on its own, and this is the size here of that. Uh, this is the size here. I don't understand why, why am I having that? Uh, okay, I think. Okay. okay, okay. All right, so that's not the problem. Uh, now uh, is the time to install our Ubuntu operating system with LVM. So let me shut this down. Uh, no. Okay, let me start it. I'm gonna see, yeah, you say about it. So I'm gonna make sure that I give, I give it the, the right signal, okay? Don't allow me to stop it the way I want. Don't want it to be about it. In the meantime, I'm gonna uh, deal with the next one, which is uh, the Ubuntu one. And uh, here, I'm going to type my password and then give one of the commands that we know already to do. I can type a uh, sudo system ctl uh, power of what? Power of and the system will shut down. So that's the proper way to do it if you don't want to get this uh, annoying mistake about it. Okay, and do the same thing here. From here. Here, uh, 
type uh, something. So another way to do it is to like type in sudo um, shutdown now or init zero, right? So do we need zero in win power of your machine? And I don't have that message. Um, now it's time to, now it's time to uh, install a new Ubuntu machine with the LVM. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly where you were not able to do it. So to do that, I have to come here to new, right? I click on new. I want to type the name of my Ubuntu machine, Ubuntu dash LVM, for example. And then make sure everything is good. And yep, it's good. And here the size, uh, just for the sake of the of the speed, I will put that to five megabyte, 5,000 megabyte, meaning uh, I want five gig of RAM. Then create a virtual hard disk now. Uh, I will leave it by default virtual disk image. Dynamically allocated. And the size, if you don't want to get into trouble, give a right size can give like uh, 15. <laughs> I like to use 15, I don't know why. Create. Okay, right down here, I have a machine. The next thing I need to do is to attach the ISO image, right? So if I wanna attach the ISO image, I can come here in the story session, click here and have access to that. Or I can come here, you see ID secondary device empty. I can click here on optical drive empty and click on it. It's gonna ask me to choose one of the variables, which I don't have here. So I will have to choose another one, okay? Choose or create a disk image. Okay, here I can see what are already available and what are not. Okay, if I have read like this, that means either the disk doesn't exist, the virtual disk doesn't exist anymore, or the path has been changed. So I will come here to add. Uh, gonna be patient, come to uh, OS, okay, and then click on my Ubuntu and open. Once that ready, I'm just going to type on choose because by default, it's going to choose it already. It's right here. So I'm going to click on choose. And you will see that, you will see that appearing here. Okay. ISO image of Ubuntu 21, 2.6, 2.63 gig. Now I'm going to click on start to say I'm ready. Um, no, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Yeah, I'm not ready yet. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, I'm not closing. Yeah, I'm not ready yet because I needed to add. Uh, I'm going to need to go here to system, add more CPUs. I'm going to processor and uh, I'm going to add three CPUs in my case because I have eight, okay? Eight CPUs here, meaning I can go up to four. But if I, uh, if I cross this uh, green size to the right size already side, it's a problem, okay? You see that the system says that down here, Okay, so I need to take more, uh, less than that or the, or half of the CPU that I have. Now I'm gonna click on okay. And I'm gonna start. Since I have four CPUs, I'm gonna start. Okay, reopen. 
Uh, okay. Um, I think I have to start over. Normal start. I don't know if it's going to go ahead and. Okay, I failed to open session four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I was the one causing that stress. Okay. I don't know if I can have a start, a dash start. Okay. The dash start has worked. So here now I'm going to come. Uh, I need to see the machine. Why? What's going on behind the scene there? I'm not able to see anything. Uh, no, this is not that. Uh, at all. Oh. Okay. Okay, so uh, the virtual box machine is already running. I don't know why this is unexpected. Seriously. <laughs> okay, it's already running behind the scene. I don't know why I'm not able to see it. Okay, let me do this. No, 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 no. no. Uh, that's a shame. So guys, I didn't expect to have this problem. Is it because I did? I did that uh, touch. You see that it's already it's ready, right? That's, that is a message that I changed. Yeah, that's good you do that. You do that noise. It means you're already there, but I'm not able to see you. Okay. Uh, I think I need to stop that guy. Okay, let me stop it. Uh, close. Power off. Power off. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to do a normal start. Wait. But that's because I used that other options. It was to uh, um, over that. So here you can see that they are giving me a drug menu that has a countdown of 19, of uh, about 20 seconds or more. And they are, they are asking me to choose what I want to do. I will leave, I'm going to leave it to a default. Yeah, I'm going to leave it to a default one. And it will start right away. If you don't want to wait for the countdown, just type enter. So now it's going to come over. And then we are going to proceed with the installation. Just be patient, please. My machine has a bunch of stuff that are open. You can see that here, I'm working on multiple stuff at the same time. So even with, um, okay, so it's already there, but we have to wait for the, this guy. Okay, here you can just choose, choose uh, your language, try Ubuntu or install it directly. So I'm going to install it directly. And choose your keyboard uh, layout and the language. I'm going to leave it by default and click on continue. And uh, right here, I don't need this for now. So I'm going to do a minimal installation without the, the label face, game, media, web browser. I mean, the web browser, I still need the 
utilities, basic utilities, and we need them. So we chose, we leave the normal installation to pick a minimum installation, which will give me only web browser and basic utilities. Other options. Uh, here, I'm going to click on, um, I don't need this for now. This is not a production ready server that I want to build. So I'm going to uncheck this. I can do that later on if I want. And you can check this if you want. Just read and I click on continue. That is taking a bit of time. Okay, here now you see inspiration type. This computer currently has not detected, has not detected any operating system. Okay, so if you had uh, a Linux operating system along, it will detect that and tell you there is a Linux operating system. I Meaning, you want, do you want to do a job boot or you want to remove it? So, what would you like to do? Erase this and install Ubuntu. Warning, this will delete all programs, all your programs, documents, photo, music, and any other files in all operating system that you have. So here, usually you guys, when I said go and go and install, when you come here, you go straight to install, okay? <laughs> yeah, go straight to install. So that's not how you are supposed to. So if you want to use LVM, you have to come here to advanced feature. And here in advanced feature, you have none. Use LVM with new Ubuntu installation. Erase this and use ZFS, okay? We're going to talk about this ZFS another day, but for today, this is what we want to to check okay now they say okay if you have choose lvm you want to encrypt the new ubuntu installation for security you will choose the security key in the next in the next step so if you check that you are going to be able to encrypt your your, your data on the disk meaning when you uh, install your operating system uh, you will have to boot your operating system at some point you will have to give the password for it to continue to to continue to deliver the data that are inside the disk okay so this is at the disk level that it will operate so if you don't have that password i'm sorry to say you will have to install your operating system again or use some advanced feature to recover your password i'm going to keep uh use lvm here and click on OK. That's what we want. So you can see here now they say LVM selected. Here is if you want to create, you can create or resize partition yourself or choose multiple partition for Ubuntu. Here is for advanced usage. Okay. But uh, we will, if we have the chance to do it, we can do it. But if you want to explore it on your own, do it. Okay. I can promise that we are going to do that. So here, that you should know how to, to use it. So here now, I'm going to click on install now. And while the installation will go through, so here is just a recap. So you can already tell that while you were installing, you were doing the installation with the standard partition, you didn't have this message saying, if you continue the listing, uh, yeah, you had this message, but it wasn't this way, right? The, it wasn't like the partition table of the following device are, you didn't have LVM volume group VD Ubuntu. So this is where it will create that LV, LV root, LV uh, VD Ubuntu and LV um, swap partition the SDA that we saw, okay? And here, the following partition are going to be formatted with, with this as, so 
Here we are writing a file system on it. We saw what were the file system. So here we have the ext4. We have the swap partition, the swap file system, and this other partition ESP here. So I'm going to click on continue because everything looks good for the, to me. Now it's time for me to choose the the local time zone. So here I'm going to keep uh, New York because I'm on this side. Usually the system automatically detect where you are. And if it doesn't, you have to click on the map and choose. Here now I'm going to choose my name. So I can call that UCT, uh, UCT, and then UCT, UCT server. Okay. And here, since it detected that I'm on a, I'm on a Ubuntu machine, um, virtual environment, right? So I'm going to call that uh, UCT. Uh, UCT uh, <clears throat> local machine. Okay. Just a random name that I'm choosing. Pick a username so I can take the username you save it. okay and now the password i can put test one two three yeah it's a fair password and it's also rich test one two three so it matches and you put the chip here green chip logging in automatically i don't want that require my password to log yes use active directory so this is if you have Active Directory, and you want to connect your Linux uh, system with Active Directory from Windows. So I'm going to click here. And now almost finished copying files. So I'm going to pause on the recording and resume after it has passed this level. Okay. Um, apparently, the installation succeeded is complete so you can see here restoration is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so before restarting i'm going to make sure that i remove i remove the disk the iso image so to do that i come here on the virtual box and i click uh, devices optical drives, and then come here and click on remove this from virtual drive. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna force. Uh, obviously I wanted to force, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to update this virtual box. Okay. Uh, No, 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 that's not what I want. Yeah, so uh, what I want is to reject this. So even here, I can do that when I'm moving. And I'm going to restore it. Okay. So I'm going to click on reset and just resetting. And I'm going to click here after removing the disk. The ISO image, you just click on reset. See here now on top, it is saying that it's using the death marker root and this one here. Okay, so we yeah, are just, we're just going to connect with the credentials that we gave the username and his password. I'm going to verify that we did the installation on LVM. Okay, UCT server, let me click on here, put the password, press one, two, three, type enter. And, uh, Right here, I'm going to skip this. Uh, next, uh, next, yeah, just uh, 
just some tools that you can install on it, right? Yeah, you can install a bunch of tools on it. Okay. Now here you can see now I have that Ubuntu machine. We're just going to verify again. So here I can type that terminal or I can take it and type it here. Um, sorry, um, click on it. It's gonna appear here and do a right click, add it to favorite so that I don't have to search for it again. Like for example, this. Here I closed it and click here, I have it. So here, the, first, the very first time when you run the command, we say you can uh, to run command as a root user, I don't want that. Uh, use sudo and then the command. You can tell man sudo underscore root for more details. So now I can do rm version. Okay. I'm going to have this because I didn't type the sudo first. Yep, that's normal. So that if I have this, it means that I have successfully installed my Ubuntu machine. Um, you know what, guys? Let me do my recording first and you can send me the reminder later. So now here I can uh, do DF minus, oh, sorry, H. Okay. And see here it is okay you see here yeah. and you can do the lsdmt uh, always come with those loop but here you can see that we have lvm that is enabled okay so you can even type the sudo and display And for the first time, it's going to ask the password, but next time it's not going to do that. So here you can see those AVM that it was saying that it's going to install. Okay, of the size here. Okay. So this is how you install an operating system, especially Ubuntu One with AVM. So I hope now everything is clear and you don't have any doubt again on how to do that. So um, I'm gonna stop the recording here. Thank you for, for being here today and thank you for taking the time to listen. Thank you, bye.